Hi, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is the April update. All right, so April, when I look at April, there's a lot of what I call like, um, like a negative kind of energy frequency. It doesn't mean that it means that the whole, you know, that April is going to be a negative month for everybody, but there is something with April that has to do with um, deeper uh, energy coming in, uh, awakening even deeper places inside your psyche and in your subconscious. Remember, people, we're in that shifting of the new paradigm and anything that's not of light, not of love is going to get activated because this is what the journey looks like. So April is going to be more of a deeper activation of deeper unconscious misperceptions of reality, conclusions, beliefs that you've been holding on to. And what I see energetically, it just presents and shows me that these, a lot of your beliefs, a lot of things that you've been um, like, like truly thinking it's true and real. It just looks like that these beliefs are going to be shattered, shifted, changed. It's almost like waking up from a fog, meaning, you know, you've had these beliefs, whether it's, it's like, it could be anything. It could be around your family, how you raise your children or how you make your money or how you, you know, think, view health or view uh, the world, how you view religion, all this stuff. There's even going to be more cracks in the religion frequency, meaning that people that are you know, like highly, highly into or strongly into beliefs, into religions, uh, different churches, that kind of thing. I just see more cracking happening in that, which is actually a good thing because the energy of most religions are based on misperceptions of reality, okay? Conclusions and beliefs. So it, the structure of that is cracking and, and that, you know, that's, that's happening. So along with that, um, energy frequencies. I see even more people uh, in their reevaluating, looking at their relationships. Are the relationships really serving you? Are they making you feel good? Are you being met? But here's the piece that you're not that you're not remembering is relationship is the is the gateway, the doorway into the subconscious. So when you realize and understand how to use relationship to wake up then, you know, you'll, you'll look at it differently. And people are going to be questioning, looking at, is this really serving, you know, it's like not even those words, but it's going to be more of an emotional thing, dissatisfaction, unrest, that kind of energy. That's what's been happening in April. Okay. So we're, we're coming into the time of year when our spring is happening, new, <laughs> new beginnings, you know, new growth. Well, that's what's going to be happening in people's worlds. It's going to be new growth, new expansion, but it's not going to feel good. So I think it's important that you remember, like when you start to go through some dark, dark energy, feelings, negativity, questioning, if you can remember that this is the soul's journey, that this is what it looks like. And can you face yourself? Can you just open to what's trying to come up from your subconscious? People, the activation is intense right now, meaning the, the darkness, what I mean by darkness, it's just that all that unconsciousness, you know, all your energy that's in the subconscious, you can't see, you can't find it, you can't know it. It's going to be coming up, okay? And it's not going to feel good. And these are places you have not wanted to look at, that you have been avoiding. Okay, well, here it is. So, you know, the more that you can literally surrender to what's happening in your world, surrender to the emotions, know thyself in these feelings, in these deep, 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 painful, hurt, brokenhearted, shattered, mistrust, not safe, ooh, under attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, under, under attack and, and feeling judged and feeling discombobulated that this is what it, the, the journey. This is what the soul journey actually looks like, okay? And there's also like a, at the more towards the end of April, as I start looking more towards the end, you know, getting um, further into that last week or so, 
energies do start to lighten up. So here's the thing. The more that you actually clear, the more that you actually face within yourself, know these deep, dark places, the lighter and brighter and more liberated, freer, happier, more joyful you're going to feel. Okay. And now if you don't, if you keep pushing these, these energies that want to just come up, you know, from your subconscious coming up, if you keep pushing those down and refuse to work with that, it's going to get even darker for you. Okay. So here's the thing. People face themselves going through what they need to go through, waking up, you know, doing the soul's journey, doing the soul dance and clearing and releasing more joy, happiness. Those of you who do not want to do that, who want to hang on to your beliefs that want to hang on to your misperceptions. You want to hang on to being victimized. You want to hang on to blaming, Ooh, being angry, wanting to hurt people. You're going to get whacked. It's going to get, it's going to get really darker and more intense at the end of April. Okay. So, you know, the, the thing is, is, you guys, it's, it's like, this is the, the acceleration. The journey that we're all on is what the journey looks like. This is the journey to our own liberation. It is the journey into the new paradigm. We're all a part of that. And we're all co-creating all of that. So the more that each of us does actually assists and helps other people on the planet. And remember, you shine your light. That light activates the light inside of others. And you know, we create that waking up energy, the acceleration. Okay. So we, we want that and be brave. Okay. Be brave. You got stuff coming up. Remember, face it, feel it, embrace it. Stop the resistance and shift will happen. It's really a good thing. All right. So again, April is going to be a little bit of an intense month for a lot of people. I'll find you know, a lot of finances stuff. Well, a lot of financial stuff is like up in the air. Uh, a lot of unrest, a lot of disturbance, a lot of fear, anxiety. So you're going to get your lessons no matter what, whether it's, whether it's through the financial, through relationship, through health issues, feeling safe and secure, you're all going to get whacked in a good way. I mean, you know, think of it as a good way. Think of it as, oh, opportunity. Here's the opportunity for me to shift and change and grow and expand, which is what we want to do. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of an activation in the subconscious. I want to open up the heart a little bit more because there's, there's going to be a lot of like fear, anxiety kind of energy. So I'm just going to be opening up the energy frequency in the subconscious. I'm going to bring in the light, the white flame, Holy Spirit, right into the subconscious. Now, whatever you're ready to be done with, whatever's easily lifted from your body that you don't have to embrace and feel, we're going to start spinning those energies out right now in your subconscious. We're going to move it right through all the different chakra centers, right up to that channel that connects all the chakras. We're just going to keep moving that energy up and out, up and out. There we go. Light, 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 light. Spin, spin, spin. Good. I'm going to go into the heart chakra blockages in the heart chakra. This is a lack of trust, lack of love, lack of feeling that you matter, that you're important. This actually all goes back to the original separation, a little bit of blockages. Now I'm going to be amping that up, going right into the frequency of your, your divine light, that frequency of pure love and light that is in everyone. I'm going to activate that even more, just tapping that white flame, white flame, white flame, activating, activating the white. There we go. Now let's open up that heart, opening up that heart even more. There we go. Let in your own light shine. Let the frequency of pure love and light shine forth, moving through you, opening. There we go. There we go. And we'll just keep that moving. Keep that opening. Remember, just keep your heart open. Keep your heart open as much as you can and go through whatever's presenting. And things will move much easier now with this activation happening. Uh, a lot of the emotional stuff that you're going to experience, if you face it, it's just going to move more quickly. So this is going to be very helpful for you to really go through what you need to go through. All right. April should be a really fun month for transformation. All right. Until next time.